Hello and welcome to Zinjibs. My name is Al Goud. In this video, I'll give you some beginner advice and tips to get you started in the fun new asymmetrical multiplayer horror game, In Silence. In Silence pits a group of up to five survivors against a monster called the Rake. This guide will focus on playing as a survivor. For those of you just starting out, the in-game menu does provide a brief overview of how to play, so be sure to check that out. Before we jump into the game, let's examine the map of the play environment. There's only one map, but the arrangement of the buildings changes each time you play. Though the arrangement of the buildings and objects on the map changes, the map is essentially a large square with a footpath that rings the interior. On the outside of this ring is where you'll find the three houses, two tents, the armory, and the car. Beyond that, darkness and a brick wall. The barn is located in the center of the map, and for me acts as a landmark that helps me navigate through the map. My first bit of advice for you is to always know where the car is in relation to the barn, and here's how to do so. You'll begin the match standing next to the car. I recommend that you immediately head for the barn. You'll notice as you approach the barn that it has three entrances. Each of the barn's entrances has objects located outside it. I remember these objects as corn, the tractor, and hay. So after starting the match, run for the barn to see which side of the barn the car is on and remember that side using the corn, the tractor, or the hay as a marker. Once you've established where the car is in relation to the objects outside the barn, it's time to gather the items you need to repair the car and escape from the rake. The items you need will be found in the three houses, the two tents, the barn, and sometimes even scattered along the footpath encircling the map. So those are the places you want to search. The armory is where you can find guns that you can use to kill the rake, but I'm not going to cover that in this video. Just know that it's an option. For now, let's focus on repairing the car and escaping the map. Here we are, getting started. First things first, orient the car with the barn. I also have two perks, Fear of Death and Scarecrow. You can hit Tab to view your perks. So we're going to run towards the barn to see which side of the barn that we're on. Oftentimes you'll upset birds in the process. And you'll see here that we are corn side. We're on the corn side of the barn. So if you can find the corn, then you'll be able to find the car. As seen here. Leads me right back to the car. And here's a look at the tractor side of the barn. Just across from the tractor is a water tower, so keep that in mind. You have a tractor and a water tower on this entrance. Here's another look at the corn side of the barn, running between the stalks of corn. Here we have the hay side of the barn, with bales and piles of hay distributed around. The hay also can provide a good hiding spot in a pinch. Now that we're familiar with the barn entrances, we need to know where to find items. And here in the barn, oftentimes you can find items right inside the entrance. Another example of an item found within the barn next to an entrance. Don't forget to check the bales of hay or these barrels here, as you will often find items. Be sure to check the second floor of the barn, as you can sometimes find items there too. The tents are a great place to check for wheels and fuel and batteries, and sometimes you can find more than one item there. Check the tops of furniture and check inside the furniture for the items you need to repair the car. 
and check on shelves of bookshelves as well. I love it when this happens. Here's a battery and fuel, both in a kitchen of one of the houses. Here's another cabinet with a key on it. And here's a shelf with a battery on it. A bookshelf with a key, so be sure to check those. There's also fireworks there. And in the garage here, there's two shelves that oftentimes have items on them. Sometimes just a battery for your flashbang. Here's some other places you want to check, such as these bales of hay. The tops of these barrels outside the barn. Inside this house here, be sure to check on top of this cardboard box. Bookshelves in the living room. Downstairs, there's three shelves. Search each one of these thoroughly. And just under the tower, there's a barrel that sometimes has a wheel on it. So now it's time to get out of here and repair the car. We know that the car is on the corn side of the barn, so using the corn as our guide, we can find the car. And remember, the car has headlights that you can see from a distance. Let's get out of here. Before we put all this together in a multiplayer match, let me show you a few other things. Here's a dog that you can free. The dog will run off and show you where the car is, but be careful, he makes a lot of noise, which may attract the rake. You have a few tools in your arsenal that you can use in your efforts against the rake. For example, here's camouflage that you can wear so that you look like a bush. And then here is a scarecrow that you can put down to act as a decoy in a pinch. And this is what it looks like when you have your scarecrow out and at the ready. One strategy is to have the scarecrow at the ready at all times so that as you're walking through the level, you can just hit G to place them down at a moment's notice. Another strategy is to place the scarecrow in a doorway to block the creature from sneaking up on you as you explore. You can also place the scarecrow at the top of stairs to delay the creature from following you down. Using two objects, such as camouflage or scarecrows, you can actually block doorways. Televisions can be used to create noise and distractions to lure the beast. Be careful when opening the top drawer of cabinets because sometimes they have a jack-in-the-box. <laughs> and if you spring one, quickly hide. The jack-in-the-box is sometimes on shelves, too, activated by your proximity. So be careful and hide if necessary. A great location to place a bear trap is in doorways, which will protect you as you search, and survivors can pass over them harmlessly. Another great place for bear traps would be at the top of staircases. Ooh, he didn't like that one, did he? Let's put these techniques to the test against other humans in an actual multiplayer game. First things first, know where the car is in relation to the barn. I walked past a wheel in the path, but I figured the other survivors would be able to find it. 
And as you can see, we are on the hay side of the barn. The rake is attacking someone as I'm running towards a tent here. Nothing there. Let's keep moving. Here's a house to explore. Checking the shelves. Oop, the rake is on me. So you want to slow down, crouch, and make as little noise as possible. Checking the cabinets for items. You can hear the rake outside using one of his abilities to sense me, so I'm just going to pause for a moment and let him pass. Uh oh, I've alerted him. Let's hide. Hello? Is anybody home? Here he comes. The rake is almost entirely blind, so you want to remain still and calm. Come out. Don't be shy. Now I moved, which might have given away my location. He might have been able to see me just a little bit. So make full use of your run time to put distance between you and the rake. So I put down some fireworks. I'm going to fire them off to create a distraction so I can run away. Didn't work too well, though. So now we're in a situation because I have no more flashbangs to use. So we have to be patient. Now that's the sound of the thunderstorm. That will cover up your noise to some extent. So I took advantage of this opportunity to run. My main objective right now is to find some batteries for my flashbang. You can think of flashbangs as health. You want more. Now right here I found a code on the toilet seat for the armory. So I just put it in the chat in case someone else can see it and also for myself if I need to reference it again. On me again. This guy's really on me. So I go seek refuge in the corn. I place a scarecrow just in case because I know he's around. And I run back to this house because I noticed the key. So I have a battery and a key. And I grabbed another battery for my flashbang. So the rake's out there looking for me. He walked right past me. It's a good idea to keep a tree or an object between you and the rake. I'm sneaking towards the car, but so is the rake. Anybody? So hitting T on the keyboard, you can actually throw a rock, and that's what I did there. I put the key in the door. Switch to the battery. Put the battery in, and my teammate put the other wheel on. So now it's time to hop in the car and get out of here. Good job. Thank you. And that's it. Survivors win. So that's a beginner's guide to in silence for the survivors. If you like what you saw, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and a sub if you really dig it. And thank you for watching.